Good morning, ladies. I'm here to meet a couple of butchers. Oh, well, uh, that would be us. You two are the butchers? No, we just wear these for decoration. Okay. Take a stroll through Williamsburg, Brooklyn, and it's easy to see this hood is pretty progressive. And where we're headed is certainly no exception. When I think butcher, I think of, you know, a really manly, burly dude, big beard, butcher knife, just whacking meat. You ready to work? The delivery's already here. You're I'm ready to get to work. Yeah. All right, put your jacket down. We don't want you to mess up your pretty little leather. Sonny Sanchez. I went to school for pastry. I also used to work at a cheese shop, mm -hmm. and I just happened to fall in love with butchery. It's all very fascinating. And Leah Wolf have been butchering at the Meat Hook for a combined seven years. Let's go, let's Hit go. Me. Go ah, have a good day. You got this. Ah. <laughs> Should we carry any of it? Nah, I'm not going to. I think he's got it under control. Sweet. Huh. When I'm teaching people, I can definitely tell the difference between like men and women yeah. as they're learning because a lot of times men will come in and they're like, I got this, it's like in my DNA. And women are like yeah. not afraid to be like, I don't f know what I'm doing with this. Yeah. Like, I just want to learn and be good at it. Yeah. Make no mistake, there are male butchers here too, but around these parts, there really is no distinction. Well, that one gave me a weird look, man. <laughs> All right, right on top of this guy. It's right on top, before you give yourself a hernia. <laughs> Get your ass up there! <laughs> this is one of the more uh, humbling, intimidating experiences I've seen. You guys have just dismembered 15 pigs in the course of five minutes. Are you sweating yet? Sweating? I'm bleeding. <laughs> So what are we doing first here? We need to drag these beef legs over, so if you can reach. I got it! Wow, you're committed, I'll give you that much. This is roast beef? Yep. Okay. This is a hind leg, so this is our hind shank here. We're gonna be taking this bone off. This, this is called is the H bone. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna have to stay super nice and tight to this bone so that we're not stabbing into any of our good roast beef over here. We're gonna be making some sausage today, our classic fennel and garlic sausage. It's a 70% lean to 30% ratio of pork. I'm 80% lean. Well, no comment. So this is like the normal grip. When you feel like you need more control, instead flip it to the psycho grip. Psycho grip? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Woo! Now we're cooking with gas. Oh, sh <laughs> A lot of precision in this, huh? Yeah, it's not just hacking it up like most people think. So a lot of the meat that you guys have, it seems like it's like sustainably raised meat, grass-fed, antibiotic, hormone-free. We just want to do right by every part of the food system, from the animal to the farmer, to the slaughterhouse, to the driver, to the employees at the meat hook, and eventually the customers. Nose to tail. Nose to tail. Oh my god, this one's squishy. Not only does it take, I think, a certain intestinal fortitude to work here, but in addition to that, I mean, this is this is hard work. This is heavy. Yeah, it's physical labor, for sure. So when you tell someone what you do for a living, how do they usually react when you tell them that you're a butcher? Their first reaction is usually like just disbelief. Oh, a butcher? Like a real butcher? They're like, like what happened to you? Yeah. <laughs> Men uh, in particular have looked over my head before to see if there's anyone else behind me that could better, you know, help them. You are breaking stereotypes. Yeah, like defying expectations is definitely a very cool part of it. It's super empowering. Ah! Oh, all right, so that's right. It totally happens to the best of us. So now you can just do one last cut. So I'm gonna show you how to break down this chicken. And I need you to pay really close attention because I'm only gonna show you one time. Now when it comes to sausage, do we want it like long and skinny or short and fat? What do you prefer? Spread our wings, open our thighs. This is like chicken yoga, you know? Really, yeah. I mean, those are some good looking sausages, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're fine. We're gonna slice down, and we're gonna follow our rib cage all the way around. There's the wishbone. There is the wishbone. You're right. Very good. Do you feel like there's more pressure on you to, to prove yourself in, in more of like a male-dominated industry? It's an absolute pissing contest. There's a lot of competition that happens, but it's not really like a, you know, a gender thing. At the meat hook, you don't see gender. You just see butchers. Pretty much. And clearly, I am not one of those butchers. Good lord. Almost there. You're doing great, you're doing great, you're doing great. You're I'm doing lost, great. I'm lost in the breasts. <laughs> 
What do you want to do with the two best sausages you've ever seen stuffed in your? We should hang these on the wall. You mean these unevenly sized, loose, lumpy sausages? It's not the size of the sausage. It's the motion of the stuffing. <laughs> we need the apron back, though, before you go. Those aren't free.